the Yenis comes out far enough. Yabaselli with the look, and Yabaselli drains the three. What a pass from Hertel. As James turns the ball over, it's Hertel all by himself going two on one with Anga. Anga with the easy lay, and they're going to have to get a timeout right here. As Coach Mitrovic has seen enough from this team on both sides of the floor, offensively and defensively. It's 11 1 run. Juicic wants to get things going, and there he finally gets one going. As in Juicic, Danilo and Juicic comes off the screen. Not much time to set up their offense as Yui wants to get to the basket. He goes up, but Poirier makes a beautiful move for a big man. Catches the ball in midair and just lays it in instead of coming down. James looking for the two man game up top. The rest of them wide open in the corner. James with a crazy shot off the mark. Dante Hall to the hoop. Dante Hall with the rebound goes back up. Dante Hall with the dunk over the top of Poirier right there. And man, are you kidding me with this kid? Yabaselli one on one again with Rock Motive. He wants to hit the fadeaway. Oh, so smooth by Yabaselli. Old school basketball right there. Cosair almost knocked down his ninth straight point, but he missed the three. Nice job by Hertel getting it to him. And look at this. James looking for the foul from half court. Thought Cosair was going to foul him. James. Let's get things going with the second three already here. Dante Hall, top! Dante Hall, we might have another seven day! <laughs> oh, I told you about this guy! James does it again from the corner. Mike James knocks it down. Nice defense by Hall and Mike James cutting out the passing lane. And he gets it up to Will Thomas. Thomas is going to pull up for three. Thomas is going to tie the game from deep. And Mike James went down. I don't know who got him on the pass, but Will Thomas stops, pops, and drops. 113 to go. Ertel's got a great look at the back. Dante Hall says, no way, Thomas Ertel. Take that home. He catches it and puts it into the first row. Tell taking a lot of time off to Rudy Fernandez. Rudy Fernandez, the vet, constantly sticking to big threes when his team needs it. And that's off the mark. And that's the end of the contest. As, as Monaco made a game out of it, even took the lead. So it's the end of the fourth quarter, but Real Madrid showing why they're the champions. They, they really put on some uh, big shot. Mike James had some really tough shot to bring them back in the game. You know, they play with a lot of energy. Like I said before, it's a tough team, but we had to manage to stay focused and, and win this game.